What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today has finally come to drive this car. Hopefully I don't get pulled over, it might be kind of illegal. I don't know, is it illegal to drive a car with no bumpers on it? It didn't have headlights on it a minute ago, but I know that's illegal to drive without headlights. So what I'm doing, I'm bringing this thing into PDR, trying to get this roof fixed and the passenger side door fixed. So PDR is painless dent repair. I explained this in another video, but because that is the only thing holding me up from getting this complete wide body finished is PDR. Because I can't do anything with the body, such as like wrapping it, getting it painted or anything with with the damage that's on the car right now. So that is why I need to get this done ASAP. Let's hope I don't get pulled over. Definitely a snowplow. Well, I made it without getting pulled over. Things low as Walk though. Even just like driving down the highway, if I'm like in a rut, the bottom's constantly scraping. It is so freaking low, it's insane. But I thankfully made it, didn't get pulled over. So I'll see you guys when I get this thing back from the PDR shop. Hopefully you can get all these dents straightened out. Two days later. What is up guys, welcome back to the vlog. So I got the FRS back from the painless dent repair shop, the PDR shop. Let me show you guys how good of a job this dude does. I, when I got there, I literally couldn't even figure out where the dents were. Check this out. This is the roof, which I had no, I didn't even think he'd be able to fix this thing. Obviously it's got some paint chips in it right there from before, but I'm not worried about that at all because this roof is most likely gonna go black. So that is insane. I'm very happy with how that came out. This door was super, super wavy. He got that thing 100% perfect. There might be a tiny, there's like a little tiny, tiny indent right there. But other than that, it's perfect. And then he did this trunk as well, which I wasn't even expecting him to do. There's a pretty big dent right in the center. And that was going to be covered with a, some sort of trunk lip or I was going to replace the trunk or something. But he went out, he went ahead and popped that dent out for free. So if anyone is in the Spokane area, I know I've had a few questions as to who does it. The shop I go to is Hitworks Dent Repair. And the guy that owns it, his name is Dan. Make sure you tell him I sent you. He's a super awesome guy. It's incredible, incredible work. But I did have to pull that headliner out for him, which wasn't a big deal. It took like 20 minutes, half hour. Saved him a lot of time. He could have done it, but he would have just charged me more money. So I'll show you guys what it looks like with that headliner in there. So as you can see, there's no headliner in there at all. So let's jump into the shop and get that thing thrown in. Bam! Once again, let me show you guys these dents. What side was it on? It was over here. Let's squeegee it off real quick. And I'll show you guys how good of a job some of these PDR guys do. It's insane. I don't want to hear nothing about them. scratching my roof, guys. This thing needs a major buff and detail in general. So, this whole thing was wrinkly, caved in, nasty looking. There's a dent up there. This is all messed up. Of course, there's still cracked paint there, and then this whole freaking door. That whole whole door was nasty looking before, and it literally looks perfect. And also this trunk. There's a huge dent right in the center there. I guarantee no one in the world would ever know is there. Insane. Just a little closer, a little closer every single day, guys. From here, I'm probably gonna go over the car, give it a nice buff, most likely. There's some rock chips on the fender I might touch up. And then from there we're going to get this thing all one color. It's going to be insane when it's done. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button right up in that corner. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really, really hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wide Body FRS build. I know it's looking kind of funny right now. No fenders on it. Stock wheels on it. It's kind of looking ugly, but that'll all be changed soon. See you guys in the next video.